I'm at the airport and you're gonna see where I'm going in the title of this video but I'm excited and my flight is boarding so I'll catch you inside a plane for my bestie Julian's birthday and I'm super excited and time to show you this amazing Airbnb guys this Airbnb is so nice like 10 out of 10 so far this is the front door leading you in super cute and airy and modern okay this is the first room this is the room that I will be staying in Okay, nice furniture, beautiful wide bed. The bed's a little messy because I did jump on it. Okay, I got a little chair over there and stuff to like put my clothes on and stuff. And I got this big um, closet. Got this closet with full mirrors. I love a full mirror moment. Okay, cute for taking my pictures. Then this is the bathroom. The bathroom is, oh, and it has a bed. The bathroom is so nice. Look at that shower head, beautiful. Then more beautiful mirrors, like, come on. Okay, and the sink, and they got cloths there for us. Hair, the drawers are empty. Oh, blow dryer, perfect. And then just the toilet behind here, and a safe right there. Then outside of this room, before we go to the living room, these stairs lead up to the second bedroom. Julian, are you decent? And Julian's MIA. This is the second bedroom. Beautiful. Upstairs with the view. Ah, okay. And of course, another full length mirror, like, because we just cannot get enough. Okay. Air conditioning, guys. I love that they have air conditioning. And this room has a big walk-in closet, which is super nice, lots of space. Love that. And this is the view, guys. Super, super beautiful. I mean, almost picturesque. It was actually raining a lot today. Super cute. It's a little center table with beach towels, cute little plant. This is the living room area, really cute. Like guys, this place just looks amazing. And it comes with TV and it has another half bathroom right here. So basically three bathrooms. Then we have the kitchen with the island, okay? And guys, they have everything that we basically need here to cook. And I mean, it's amazing full-size fridge and another balcony okay so this balcony right here has a dining table if we wanted to dine and a little chair thing if we wanted to just chill and we could see the whole bay from here and guys the best part is our beautiful pool like look at that This pool is absolutely amazing. And we can actually walk down here. And down here is like a separate terrace for the other side. But there's somebody there now, so I'm not going down there. Those other people leave tomorrow, so we'll be able to have the whole property to ourselves. And it's just so exciting. It's so beautiful. It's just like the pictures are like even better and yes guys so 
that's my humble abode for the next couple days. And I'm super excited. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to figure out car rentals, stuff like that. And then I'm going to hop back on the channel. I really want to hop into that pool. Okay, so yes. I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Hey vlog, so birthday boy. <laughs> I'm dead. But right now we're about to get some food to chow. I ain't eat. I ain't eat since April. Okay? Let's be for real. And we're at Captain's Room Shack. I heard this is super good, so I can't wait to try it out. Okay, okay. Okay, no problem. If I ever tell you what I'm saying, you So guys, we're in the grocery store. We're just trying to get like some small stuff like for breakfast and stuff like that. Because we're not going to want to wake up early every day to go out to get food. Beautiful, beautiful. Time to pack these groceries out. We got... Julie got a whole bunch of fruit. We got some mangoes. We got some bread because we wanted to make avocado toast. Um, he got a a, co a cacao or cocoa or chocolate plant. I'm gonna see how what he's gonna do with that. Some grapefruits and I don't even know what these are. What are these little spiky things, Julia? We got a nice big avocado. We got some eggs. We got some vegan meats. Some soda. I got myself some coconut water because I get dehydrated very quickly, especially in very hot climates. Also got a very big juicy pineapple and got some blueberries, some tomatoes, and grenadine syrup to make shelly temples and a tiny tiny and we got case of water. And that was it for a little grocery shopping for the Airbnb. Now I'm going to change because I need to get in this pool, honey. I have to get in the pool today so you know do that guys so we just got out of the pool it was super fun i'm about to get ready to go out to eat there's a lot of places in st martin that are not open on a wednesday or one of the places i really wanted to try out is actually permanently closed so unfortunately but we're gonna make it do what it do we're gonna try to see if we could get to Sublime to have dinner, but I'm gonna get cute, so yeah. Let me start getting ready and I'll come holla at you guys when we about to leave. This is the dress, shoes, hair and makeup. I feel so cute and light and airy. I did my makeup with no foundation. I feel so light and airy. I'm ready to go out, so let's go. Hey, vlog. So we're out at dinner. We're at a spot called Sublime. It's, it's super aesthetic and great. So we're here just trying to get some food or whatever. We got these little tough ass bread. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like a biscotti bread. I don't know what it is about. And I got a Moscow meal. Very good. I am about to tear this up. Oh, awesome.
vlog guys last night was amazing i haven't had that much fun in a club in years everybody here is just so friendly now i get why they call it a friendly island of course you'll always find dickheads here and there the club was so lit yesterday was wednesday so it was ladies night and yeah he was doing the one two for the ladies i was just up i was kind of Chilling by the pool, um, writing in my journal. Now I'm gonna start getting ready. We're supposed to be going to brunch, zip lining into the beach, and child, that's one, two, three different outfits. So I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do if we could drop one of the things off the list. Um, but I'm gonna see what he's thinking. So you know, it's the birthday boy, so it's really up to what he wanna do. And I'm gonna just go, I'm just along for the ride, child. Hey guys, so I'm ready. We're about to leave the Airbnb. This is my fit for today. Just some shorts and tank top from Zara. Um, high neck, it's cute. I should have bought it in the small, but in the medium, it's a little too big. And my foam runners, my little bag with all my stuff. And I'm gonna bring that stuff behind me with me as well. And my Bottega shades. Cause now we out here walking. Oh, you hurt my knee just now? Shit. <laughs> my shit is why I'm pop. My shit ain't used to hiking no more. We out here, we're about to do rides. Yes. I'm excited. We get to do it twice. Yeah. See? And I will just be recording Julian while he does his other rides that I will not <laughs> be doing. First inhabitants are our walks. Yep. Who inhabited all of us for four colonizers. Centuries later, a small group of 300 Dutch colonists settled here in 1648 because they didn't have anywhere else to settle, you know? So they had to come to the Caribbean. Another history of how we were and then how we are after. <laughs> Before and after colonization. This is for the salt mining. I am scared, and I'm not normally a scaredy cat for real, for real, but, oh nah. So how the fuck are you gonna get, cause this don't take you up there. How are you gonna get up there? No, we'll oh, we? Oh, we'll <laughs> you gonna be at the <laughs> I'm gonna be up there having a drink waiting for you. Look at the beautiful houses behind us. Guys, their houses here are beautiful. No burger bars like the other places in the Caribbean. Why did it stop? Why are we jumping? See, that's what I don't like right there. It's supposed to be a nice smooth right to the top. And we jumping and slowing down. So guys, I'm about to go on this ride right here. I'm terrified. I don't know why Julian thought that this was a great idea. You will idea. be fine. You will be fine. It's going to be great. That's what he says now. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Julian, stop making noise. Look at me, get scared. Okay, guys, we're heading up this dirt trail where Julian will be zipping through the air like Spider Man. And I'll be recording it, you know. And that's all I'm doing for today. <laughs> The slide was so good. I'm sorry I couldn't record it for you guys because I had to hold on. But it was so fun. But all the zip lining, this is not for me, baby. <laughs> yes, Spider Man.
you guys where we actually landed. Oh, you want to go down here too? Okay, what does it say? Oh, so Anguilla is that, I don't know if you could tell on camera, Anguilla is that island right out by the coast over there. That's Anguilla. That's cool. Like, they're really close. Really, really close. That's cool. And the deck is just views on views on views, guys. Oh, Julian, so the guy told me what that little island is. That's the festival island, so I think that's where we have to go for this for the concert. Oh. Yes. It's just so beautiful. Oh, you do got a couple people that's up in the hills all the way over there. I'm so glad I faced my fears and came up here. It's so beautiful. Wow. I'm happy as well. She did yes, it. Yes, I did guys. it. I can't, I, I'm going to be terrified going back down, but at least I know when I go back down, that's it. <laughs> you can see the whole airport from right there. St. Kitts and Nevis is actually right. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it's right over the coast, over there. I can actually see it with my naked eye. A bar in the sky. And guys, this is Maho Beach, I think. The airport is right across the street. That's where all the private jets land, guys. It looks like it's coming right at us, too. Okay. Kinda scared. I feel like it's coming right where I'm standing, too. Shit. I mean, that kind of blown my fucking mind, okay? This is my drink, tops off, okay? But guess what? My top is staying off. <laughs> okay. I'm not on that level yet. But look at the view. That's the beach. Hey vlog. So I just finished getting ready for the night. It's Julian's. Oh, sorry. I'm just addicted to separating this hair because I just want it to be fluffy and big, so excuse me while i do that but either way we're going out it's julian's actual birthday night so we're going to eat at um i think the place is called bamboo bamboo something like that so this is what i have on so i'm in this blue dress with my white sandals don't look at my background uh we gotta get out of here because we're late so this is the dress Yes, guys, so we're about to head out now. I'm not gonna take the camera because it's probably gonna be a long night. So I'm gonna try to get footage from my phone, okay? Oh, this is that cute. Look how cute it is inside.
Outside looking good, smelling good, smelling fresh, ready to party again. Oh lord, I don't want to get copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, friends. St. Martin, day number three. I feel like such a bad vlogger. I feel like I've been hardly showing y'all what's really, really going on. But a lot of shit that we've been doing, it's like, I can't bring this big old camera. So I'm trying to get footage on my phone as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Right now, we is just chilling. I feel like so much shit been going on since we've been on vacation. I'm getting emails from Netflix talking about raising the prices. It's just a lot going on. That's why I don't want to go back home. I just want to stay here forever. However, we're supposed to be going to brunch. We should get up and get ready so we can head out there. Hey guys, so just like I said earlier, I'm getting ready for brunch. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I do for that. I'm just going in with some of my sunblock right now. Cause guys, St. Martin is hot as hell, okay? See how that rubs in guys it's like one of the best sunscreens i've ever used and it's spf 50 quick and easy because as i said want to look cute want to take a picture or two um at brunch i will also be on the beach and i feel like it looks ridiculous to be on the beach with a full face of makeup but guys this fucking trip has been amazing so far i met a group of girls yesterday that were jamaican they were so fun like the party we went to was like really empty i'm not gonna lie like that girl uh, in the combination with some other girls you know they kind of gave the party a little life because it was like you know upbeat up and ready to dance so that was really cool um, i'm gonna go in with my denissa myricks love this stuff guys and if you're coming on vacation this is like the best thing to use because it keeps you matte that's why i got mine tinted instead of clear so i could use it as a foundation substitute that's gonna give me even tone but yeah guys st martin has been amazing so far today we're going to the beach because we really haven't gone to the beach since we've been here We've just like been in our, well, we did go to the beach. We went to Maho Beach yesterday. But it really, again, it's Thursday, I guess. So there really wasn't much going on. And we kind of stood there and saw the planes. Well, you guys were going to see all that in the vlog anyway, so. Chanel blush. This is in the color Intense Coral. I'm just gonna do two pumps on my hand because it comes out in this like pigmenty thing. If you guys are not new to my channel, I did kind of sort of review this. So I'm just gonna mix the pigment into the liquid. I don't even think I told you guys that a DJ that I basically know of in New York is a part of this St. Martin Experience weekend. For, Labor, um, for Memorial Day and it's gonna be a tons of like Jamaican and Caribbean artists here for a concert and we really didn't know because like I happened to be on the plane and saw this guy but I wasn't like sure and I'm not just the type to just walk up and talk to somebody I wasn't sure and then it happened to pop up on his page happened to pop up on my Instagram with this party experience for this weekend and I'm like wow I didn't even know you know they would be having like events and stuff here this weekend so that was really cool so we went to their first party their welcoming party last night 
it was cool and we're going to another party today so it's basically five days worth or five parties in three days or four days something like that and then tomorrow they're gonna have a concert with all the jamaican artists and Caribbean artists and I'm hyped because one of the artists that I want to see is coming Valiant if you guys know any Caribbean music he's a super hot popping reggae artist right now got a trip and a concert in one amazing I'm gonna do a double set I'm gonna set with my one size powder first I'm gonna set my under eye again with my NARS powder I guess coral is just like the best shade for my skin tone. It comes out so pink and that's what I want. Ugh, in love. I'm just gonna be going in my NARS powder. This NARS powder is gonna keep me matte all day. Charlotte Tilbury in one size. glowy and beautiful just gonna do my lip really quick run on my one size lip pencil and i love this one size lip pencil because it really does i wouldn't say it's waterproof but it does stay on a lot longer than most of my others and i'm gonna go in with my rare beauty lip oil that was well. just as cute pink dress from Zara, my sandals to match my bag, and yeah. Hey guys, so we're out in the French side. Right now we're going to Rainbow Cafe. It was a little hectic getting down here, no lies. The French side, the roads are pretty tight. We managed. Wait to check out a lot of this stuff here on the French. Oh, sorry. Hello. Oh, this is the entrance. Thank you. Yeah, we changed. Oh, okay. Remodeling. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. It is. to get the whole thing. What? Unfortunately, my camera is dying. Wow. Huh? That's what I thought too. And now it's dying. Wow. So guys, the menu is from the middle. sunburn on my chest already.
love the world. Hey guys, I'm coming to y'all live from the car. We are ready. It is St. Martin Day 4. Super excited. Last night we went out to, I forgot the name of the club because they changed the venue last minute, but it was below the strip club. Below the strip club called Red Diamond. Guys, we had a good old time. We didn't leave that club till, we, the club didn't end till 4.30. Then, you know, everybody was walking out, chilling at their cars. Some a lot of people was getting McDonald's before they went back to their hotels and Airbnbs and shit. By the time I went to sleep, the sun was coming up already. <laughs> so we woke up a little bit late from that, but we're back at it again, guys. I'm hot as hell. I feel like St. Martin is the hottest island that I've been to. AC is finally being. So now we're about to go to um Phillipsburg because we've been hearing music from last night and we're like we don't know where this music is coming from because every time we go out we're going to Simpson Bay or by Maho Beach although our Airbnb is in Phillipsburg so we about to go drive around there so what the fuck is going on okay we we don't want to we don't like to be left out so we're gonna see what's going on over there and we're gonna try to get in some things Yes. See you on the few. See you on the few. <laughs> Girls is fast too. Do you feel like I'm down? I'm down. So this is my bikini and cover up. Ready to go on the beach. I think I might definitely get that massage. I think I definitely need it. We're getting some well needed relaxation. We be going out every single night and staying out till four or five o'clock in the morning. So in the daytime we be tired as a bitch, but we keep on getting up and going just to, you know, enjoy everything. So Look at this beautiful view. And guys, we're in Phillipsburg. I got this bikini from Shein. Guys, best investment. I best investment come on this trip okay because the way I've been sweating I lost like 10 pounds of sweat mm. Mm. this one was like fucking good Julian guys so we just got rained on on the beach <laughs> but it's alright <laughs> it still it still wasn't bad 
It was just a little bit of rain. But a place to look freaking beautiful though. You can see where the rain was falling, yeah. The rain don't stop nothing. <laughs> the rain don't stop nothing that's going on over here, baby. Okay? Just like the snow don't stop shit, the rain ain't stopping shit neither. We outside. We outside. With it, okay? <laughs> outside, outside, okay? So we about to just find another move. Yeah. And another, another thing. Move. And another thing. And another thing. And concert tonight. And, okay. and the concert is tonight. Okay, we're gonna see Valiant, Stark, Ashley, Ding Dong. We're gonna be dancing up a storm. <laughs> but so far, St. Martin, you don't owe me shit. Like, it's just been great. It's nice people. Such a vibe. Such a fucking vibe. If you know, you know. If you know, <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. So we're gonna figure something out and then we're gonna see you guys in the ratchet. I gotta be so ratchet like that. I don't do it on purpose, right, Julie? No. I'm just enjoying my vacation. Okay guys, so we outside the concert. I know you can hear the music.
to my man, tell my dog, so I know he gon' shoot. Tell my dog, nigga, who you? Eat him up, call that dog food. I mean, when the fuck is going to be my dog? I'm so sorry I didn't talk to you guys all freaking day, but I just kind of got up, got ready, and been on the move ever since. Um, Cause I woke up late. I woke up at 11 this morning, so by the time like I got myself together, it was like two o'clock, and then we was kind of just trying to get out the door. I'm sorry, I'm scratching my head. <laughs> um, yeah. By the time I finished getting ready, it was like two o'clock. And it was just time to basically run out the door at that point. But we had a good old time at the party. This party was at Port de Places, Places, <laughs> something like that. But I think it's a resort as well. And their pool was amazing. I didn't actually go into the pool, but we was just there, you know, partying. I wasn't really even drinking. I drank Gatorade the whole day because I kind of woke up feeling a little not the best in my stomach area. So I was just kind of smoking my hookah, drinking my Gatorade and having a good old time. This experience, I think it's every Memorial Day in um, St. Martin. So I would definitely come back and do this same shit. Like so far, I definitely got to come back to St. Martin. It's just lit. It's just amazing. People are so freaking nice. Um, I'm not sure if I even showed you guys um, the food I had yesterday. I had Jimmy, the original fat boy. Um, his restaurant is in Flopsburg, but it's like one of those, you know, drive up, stand up, order your food restaurants. If you want to eat there, you could eat outside, but it's just like in the parking lot. But the food was so good. The ribs and the chicken. Oh my God. It was so good. Even his rice and peas was so freaking good. And yeah, and then we enjoyed the concert as you guys saw, but yeah, guys. I'm sorry I ain't been getting to tap in with you guys like I want to. I've just kind of been actually enjoying this vacation. Sometimes it is like a lot to vlog and actually be in the moment at the same time. However, <laughs> I'm just having a great freaking time. I still got my bikini on because I did not go into the pool at the pool party so I'm thinking about hopping into the pool at my Airbnb real quick but it's kind of windy and we're right on the water so and of course the pool is not heated tomorrow's our last night and I'm so sad I don't want to leave I don't want to go home I'm having such a good time like I'm coming to the point where I feel like these week on vacations are just not enough time like I need to be able to really enjoy and do all the shit that I want to do and it's like, with different events and stuff, it's like, it's just not enough time. I still didn't even get to go jet skiing or snorkeling. I don't even know if that's really going to happen on this vacation, just the way how timing is set up with all of these events. However, I don't regret it. We kind of, we came out here with no plan, so the fact that plans just you know found us is lit guys go follow experience st martin they do this every year definitely tap into them and guys if you see me posting the hookah that we've been smoking all weekend guys at these events the hookah is so smooth it's great they're so freaking friendly and nice they're my new besties go follow them on instagram if you're ever in st martin definitely use their services they're amazing. It's gonna chill here until it's time to get ready because guys, we got another party tonight. Okay, that's actually started already at 10. But we not planning to get there until maybe maybe 12, 1, 2 o'clock. That type of time. Guys, it's the Caribbean. We party very late. I'm saying we, I'm not St. Martin, but I'm Jamaican. And they're kind of like us. We party really late. So, you know. It's nothing going to the club at 2 because we're not leaving until 4.30. So, it's fine. So, I'm just going to chill for a little bit. Try to get some energy, guys. I'm tired. Guys, when I'm telling you the shit that I show you is valid, I really mean it. Like, look at my makeup. Like, 
If I can survive in St. Martin, you can survive in America, okay, through a heat wave, okay, with your makeup on using these products and the methods that I show you in my videos, okay? So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hi, vlog. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it is our last day in St. Thomas, and I'm so sad because I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Definitely coming back here though. Definitely. We definitely coming back. And oh, the people is outside, child. They're doing their little ATV run. We just wanted to go to this craft market really quick. Yeah, get our last minute souvenir. Yes, because child, our flight is in the morning. And we won't have any time to do it when we get back from this last event which is the boat ride to Anguilla. Yes, I'm so excited. Me too. Island to hopping. Party. Island hopping, <laughs> partying on the boats, one of my favorite things to do. So, we are gonna get into that, but first we wanted to grab some stuff, and then we're gonna go back and get ready. ready. I'm just not believing that this shit is taking off at 11, <laughs> but we gonna see. See you. That they stayed out and partied last night, and they want everybody to be up and ready by 11. I feel like they said that so niggas could get there for one. Oh, yeah. Nathan. What was it that? No, it wasn't this one though. No, because it said. Yes. Something like that. We're supposed to get go back to the French side. We didn't even get to go back. Um, dad. Not enough time in the days, and everything closes tremendously early. Now nah, this shit must be way further down than we thought, Julian. We wasn't in the car. But <laughs> well, we turned right there, no? I feel like we need to get back in the car and drive the fucking down here. Or do you want to keep on walking? Oh, shit. <laughs> I know you didn't want to hear that. <laughs> I wanted to go back to the car. I'm sweating. Look at that. So, guys, when I'm showing you that my makeup is standing up, you guys gotta subscribe and follow the tutorial and the product recommendations because I know what the fuck I be talking about, okay? Ooh. Hello. Ooh. And they have my little coin wallet thingies. These ones are smaller, These are yeah. actually coin coins. Four coins, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so I need a really nice magnet to go on my fridge. Hello. Hi. I really want three of these for ten. Okay. How much are the key rings? Same three for ten. Okay. Fresh coconut. Okay. Oh, this is an old coconut. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, we're back at our favorite rib shack. Oh, now you can see me. Hey guys, so let's get into some things real quick because last night we were supposed to go to another party, a part of the event, and we fell asleep. So we missed that party. However, it's fine. They they use the time to rub it in how great it was and how much we missed such an um, amazing party. But Chavu was tired and you know on vacation you gotta get rest too. So we had to get that rest, Chad. But it's fine. So now we're all wristband up and ready to go on the boat ride to Anguilla. They was loading up their cars just now and was over there, so we just kind of came back to the rib shack to get some food. Guys, I know I haven't like been all over the vlog with food like I used to, but it was just been going, 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 not really getting a lot of time to really sit down and eat. But tonight we're gonna try out Playa Playa. So hopefully they're good. And yeah, right now we're just cooling out. I'm just trying to stay cool. So you see I have on this mesh top. Kitty underneath and a skirt. Didn't get to show you guys my outfit, but hopefully I get to take pictures on the boat. 
So yeah, we about to eat. Hey guys, I just want to show you. This is how we've been eating, literally in the car, most days since we've been here. I got these from Captain Rip Shack. Guys, fire, 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 real Caribbean food, okay? All right guys, we're gonna see you on the boat. Ladies out there. He ain't that goddamn sexy. With expectations of what's gonna happen on this boat. Can you still see my blush? But it's not crazy, right? Okay, shout out to House Labs. And I did Juvia's place on top of the House Labs blush. Shout out to them. Guys, the whole moral of the story is subscribe to my channel if you want to look good like this in every weather. One to me, please, now. Back at Shallow. I like that even with the dock, their boats, the water still blue. You see that? Their pollution is probably very minimal. Who was thinking? Boats was thinking about the sugar daddy boat. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving Splenda? He's always there when I'm saying some shit. You always there. Yes, as I was saying. This is daddy, this is giving Splenda. This is not giving sugar daddy boat. Thank you. 
Hey Vaughn, hey guys, it's our last day, oh it's our last night in St. Martin, so sad, I don't want to leave, it was so great, um, oh shit, ow, I keep on hitting my fucking body parts, oh, on the end of this bed, ah. Guys, St. Martin was so amazing, it's so great. Um, yeah, St. Martin is so amazing, so great. I'm definitely coming back here. There's so much things. Well, not so much, but there's a couple things that we didn't get to do that we wanted to do. Not nothing crazy, just like more water sports and stuff like that. Um, we wanted to go out tonight. Actually, we tried to go out tonight. And when I tell you everything is closed, I know it's Memorial Day. For us in the states but it's a regular monday for them and everything is closed no bar lounge nothing was open so we just kind of came back and started you know getting us some packing and stuff because our flight is 11 in the morning um and yeah it was a very amazing fun trip and come here in the beginning of the week like a monday tuesday wednesday there's really not much going on there when we got here on a wednesday we did go to lotus but it wasn't like packed or anything like that so just keep that in mind other than that this was a great great vacation and yeah i would do the saint martin experience or i should say i would do the experience saint martin thing again definitely if they have it next year i would definitely do it again um and guys, St. Martin over all the people are just so nice. It was just such a great vacation. I don't regret nothing. Hey friends, good morning. Sadly, it's our last morning in St. Martin. It's the last time I'm gonna wake up to this amazing view for right now, so let's take a look. One last look at it. Martin is the I wish I could stay and live here, but we can't and it's time to go. So I'm fully packed and ready. This little one to the airport, just leggings, sandals, top. Just because I am actually I am actually connecting guys. I'm not going straight back to New York. I'm having a one day layover in Jamaica, so I'll actually be heading to Jamaica in a little bit. So that's why I'm kind of still dressed-ish for the warm weather. But St. Martin, you owe me nothing. It's amazing. It's great. I can't wait to come back. My voice is gone, so you know I had an amazing fucking time. And hands down, one of the best vacations ever. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. And I can't wait to have another travel vlog and it's going to be lit. So, yes, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.